Welcome back to Mrs. P. What's for tea? Oh, it's absolutely freezing. So, what I'm going to have a go at making tonight is this sweet and sour chicken stir fry kit. Never used one of these before. I don't know if you've had it. Can't remember how much it was, but I'll try and put the price on the screen. It was certainly on my video yesterday. But I thought I would give this a go. So. The rice are boiled, put in the simmering oven as per my previous video. Um, this pot is just warming on the boiling plate. So let's give it a little go. Have you ever used one of these? Can you recommend one? Just adding a little bit of olive oil to that hot pan. And then I am guessing that you put the chicken in first just to, to cook on. Oh, I might have found the instructions. Uh, heat 15 mils in a red pan. Yeah, done that. Add the chicken and fry for six minutes, stirring occasionally till the meat starts crisping up. Add the vegetables, cook for further six minutes. Reduce the heat, add the sauce. Okay, so chicken first for six minutes. Get a sturdy thing and pop the chicken into the pan. There we go. Well, I'm not sure how many this is supposed to serve. Oh, serves two. So I might get two meals out of this one for the freezer, although I think I do have some sweet and sour in the freezer. So it says cook the chicken for six minutes. So, back with you in six minutes and see how that's doing. So there we are, six minutes. So now I'm going to add the veg and the pineapple. Yep. And we give that another six minutes and then we're going to turn it down still on the boiling plate i'm going to turn that down and add the sauce and by then the rice will be cooked i'm going to add a bit of salt to this because i can't be doing with bland i'm just going to add a little bit of salt a little touch of pepper. And then let's give that another another six minutes. Chicken looks good. It just needs to come up to temperature again. So I'm just going to bob on the lid and give that another six minutes and then I'll be back with you. Okay, so that's had another six minutes with the lid on. I have turned it down to simmer it. And I'm going to add the sauce and then I think it's just two minutes and then we will be ready for some dinner. Which I am, I found since I've come back from a cruise, obviously on the cruise I ate, I ate all the goodies I had desserts every day, I had wine with lunch, I had wine with dinner, all things that I never do. Oh, I could eat a horse. I come home at lunchtime and Mr P had made me a sandwich, which I, I wouldn't normally bother. Oh, it was so good. And I just seem to be so hungry. So that's the sauce in. Turned it down to simmering and we're going to give that two minutes and that should be our dinner ready. Looks so good. Just going to have a look at the rice which is in the simmering oven. <coughs> I think that will be done. Oh, let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Let's just pull 
leave that with the lid on to, to stand and two minutes and this should be ready to serve up. Actually, that was so easy and it looks really, really good, but I do think that I will probably, oh yeah, I'll definitely get two portion out of this, even if I have it for my lunch tomorrow. Mr. Peter's not like sweet and sour or he'll eat it, but it's not one of his favourites. So I'm going to come back to you once it's dished up. And there we go. Sweet and sour chicken from a kit from Aldi. Um, it looks absolutely, it smells absolutely delicious. I've just got rice with it, brown rice, and yeah, looks lovely. And that's what I'm going to have for my tea tonight. So um, I'd love you to click the subscribe button and join the family. Like the video, it was a very simple one tonight, but um, it looks really nice, really good, quick and easy when you've been to your work all day. Thank you very much for joining me.